Hello, I'm Brother Robert Shielder, General Counselor, and I would like to share some information about our 45th General Chapter. A General Chapter is like a large strategic planning process on an international level. It assesses the needs of the worldwide Lasallian family and sets directions and plans of actions for the Lasallian mission to meet the needs of the young people today, especially the poor. It is the highest authority in the Institute and meets once every seven years. The Superior General, who is elected at a general chapter, is accountable to fulfill the decisions made at a chapter. His general counselors, who are also elected at the chapter, assist him in the governance and leadership of the Institute. The first general chapter occurred in 1694 and was attended by 13 delegates, including our founder, St. LaSalle. Of course, at that time, all the delegates were French. At this 45th general chapter, there will be 88 delegates coming from all corners of the world, representing the LaSallean presence in 80 countries. It's a wonderful image of what the world can be, a gathering of people committed to collaboratively working together for the betterment of all humanity. The general chapter has four major agenda items. First, it evaluates the life of the Institute and how it carried out the LaSallean mission in the past seven years since the last general chapter in 2007. Then, it revises the rule of the brother's life. Thirdly, the chapter elects a new superior general and his council. And lastly, the chapter plans the future of the mission for the next seven years. As delegates, we will be representing you, the worldwide LaSallian family. In the words of Brother John Johnston, former Superior General, few groups, associations, or organizations in education today have our numerical power. We have enormous potential, Brother John went on, to accomplish much good for our world. The number of delegates to a general chapter is based on the number of brothers in the Institute. The number is between 1 and 1.5 percent of the total number of brothers in the Institute today. The majority of the delegates are elected by their districts. Many of these brothers are either the visitor or auxiliary visitor of the district. Some brothers are delegates by right simply because of the positions they hold, like the Superior General, the General Counselors, and any past Superior General still living today. The Superior General also has the right to appoint brothers. For this particular chapter, of his 10 appointees, six are young brothers. After the general chapter, the decisions are published and distributed. Then, districts and regions decide on how to implement those decisions at the local level. For example, the 2007 general chapter called on districts to defend and to promote the rights of the child. As a response, our region organized the LaSallean Convention at the United Nations on the Rights of the Child and individual schools develop programs and activities to raise consciousness and action at the local level. In 2011, the visitors and I signed a statement advocating for the promotion and protection of the rights of children. I look forward to sharing with you the outcomes of our general chapter once its work is completed on June 8th. In the meantime, I ask for your prayers that the Holy Spirit will guide and inform all of our deliberations for the good of the LaSallean mission. I also invite you to regularly visit the region's webpage for updates on the chapter. Thank you. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.